first cut steel on this project in June 2010. And here we are in February 2012 loading her out. So that in itself is a major milestone. Uh, the design of this was, was fairly complicated because we had to uh, contend with various rules. Um, so she's classed as a, a DNV vessel, um, but also compliant to MODU uh, and SPS rules. Uh, the Brave and Bold Turn are sisters. They are of the Gusto 9000 design. Uh, and they are the first two vessels, or at least Brave is the first vessel to be launched of, of this design. And uh, these are the most modern uh, and you know, efficient vessel, we hope. Uh, that shall serve the offshore installation wind industry in, in Europe. Uh, when we are going out to select the yard, we are doing a uh, invitation for bidding. Uh, I, I guess it was uh, about nine, ten yards, uh, Far East, Middle East and Europe. Um, and uh, after a few rounds, so uh, having uh, the, the, uh, studied the, the bids, and also, you know, made negotiations. We ended here at Lamprell. Lamprell has uh, proven to build similar designs, smaller, although uh, in the past, uh, and uh, they had, you know, the right price, the right uh, delivery time. Uh, delivery time is very important. Uh, so that's why we select them. And of course, the, they also have proven quality in uh, in making these vessels. So altogether, it landed on Lamprell. Uh, Lamprell was not the cheapest, but still we selected them to do the work. Um, the vessel is 132 metres uh, in length, uh, 39 metres across the beam, uh, runs a complement of 80 personnel on board, uh, spread out amongst 56 cabins. Um, she weighs in currently at 12,000, a little bit over 12,000 tonnes. Uh, when she's completed, she'll be running with a light ship weight of 14,700 tonnes. So it's certainly the largest project that uh, Lamprell have ever undertaken um, and is a sizeable vessel uh, for, for, any, uh, for any subcontractor or any contractor. Um, she's a self-elevating uh, dynamic position vessel, uh, runs DP2. We have Voith Snyder propulsion aft with three Voith Snyder units and we have Wartzilla bow thrusters uh, in the tunnel or in the bulbous bow uh, and a Kongsberg automation system. Because we construct these vessels on land, we're about 700 metres away from water or from the nearest quayside. So the vessel is actually constructed on stools at a height of 1.4 metres uh, in our yard. We purposely do that um, so that we've made provision for the, for the loadout um, regime right from the, right from the outset. So there was 418 axles. Uh, each axle had four wheels each, uh, which was required to move that uh, to move that 12,000 tonnes. Um, we've been told and had it confirmed from ALE that it's certainly the largest transport move ever in the Middle East uh, on wheels, and uh, we think number two in the world uh, ever done on wheels. So it's quite a substantial feat, and to see it safely here is uh, very very pleasing. I think uh, this, this particular project just beautifully uh, demonstrates uh, that size really isn't, isn't an issue for Lamprell Jebel Ali, um, nor the fact that we're not directly on the key side. So, you know, credit to, to all, all parties involved. It's not just myself. You know, there's a big team behind this. I guess upwards with the production people as well, there's upwards of probably 15,000, uh, sorry, 1,500 to, to 2,000 personnel have been involved in the project overall. So. With the teamwork around that, it's an outstanding achievement, something that I'm very, very proud of.